Hello and welcome to Jenny's Horse Product Review. I'm Jenny and today I'm going to show you how I do my DIY temporary shade for my pen here. And the reason why I have this is because last year I was boarding at a stable that doesn't provide shade in their paddocks. So I know it's crazy like if we're in eastern North Carolina it's over a hundred degree heat index a lot of the summer here and I just, you know, when you're in a small town, you have limited boarding options. Sometimes you got to make do, but I just couldn't let my miniature horse sit out in the sun with no shade. So if you need a temporary option, a really affordable option, something that you can uh, put up and take down as needed, because you can't put a permanent structure on a property or a boarding facility for whatever reason, this is a really great idea. So right now I'm putting my shade sale on just a four panel pen that I have. And I did get this four panel pen at a tax store in Newton Grove. And if you're in Eastern North Carolina, shoot me a message and I can give you more information on where to find them. It was affordable, it's very sturdy. Technically they're mini panels, but they're super duper sturdy. You could easily keep a horse in these. Um, and if you have a horse that's especially hard on panels, you could even reinforce it with T-posts, but it's very sturdy without being like unmanageably heavy like regular round pen panels. But anyways, here I am adding, I actually have a fifth panel to put here. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on the pen with the fifth panel and not just a little box stall. But as you can see, it's really heavy, but I can manage it myself. That's what I really like about this pen. So here I am adding the fifth panel. And then I'm gonna reconfigure how I have this triangle sun sail or sunshade, whatever you want to call them. They're very affordable. This particular one is a triangle. You can get squares, rectangles, just about any uh, size you need. And they're on Amazon. I will include a link in my description of the one that I got. Of course, you can, there's so many, there's a variety of options, different colors, different sizes, just about anything you need to fit your needs. So here I am. Obviously, this temporary shade works really well for a miniature horse because I can just tie it right to my pen. Uh, if you have a larger horse or pony, you may need to rig up some kind of a pole on your pen just to make sure it's tall enough so that they're, you know, obviously if you're not a miniature horse, you need to be able to stand underneath it if you're a little bit taller of a horse. So this is going to be one of those DIY projects. You got to customize it to your situation. But here I am, it's super quick. And then there you've got a nice little shady area. My horse is black, he just was not gonna be okay without shade and 100 plus degrees. I Obviously I think all horses deserve shelter from the elements, even if that's just the sun. And you can see in the pictures I'm including that he, was in his little shady spot all the time this the, the summer that he was out there. Anyways, I'm really glad that I did this for him. And it's really important for me to make sure that my horses have everything they need, even when I'm dealing with uh, limited boarding availability, limited stable options. You know, I know some of my viewers have been there. <laughs> you kind of have to make things work, DIY, do what you got to do. But until next time, happy trails.